So, hey, so I got a Kaiser in this box, but it is related to this Kaiser. And it's related to this CJRB. So let's get it out of this box. Well, let's check it in and check it out. How about that? But I just wanted to show its relatives here. It is. I see some red poking out there. It is the Kaiser Chili Pepper. And you can see it up in there. Chili pepper, and it is a swags design, as well as the CJRB is a swags design, as well as this Kaiser, this swayback is a swags design. This button lock, love it. It's got a back clipper, the button lock. The ergonomics on this for such a little knife four finger grip very confident with a nice needle sharp point like needle sharp yeah n690 blade love this one it's a great little knife carried it a bunch back when i got it this swags this is a cjrb and i believe it's called it's the malaya and now there's a bigger one called More Malaya. But it's a back flipper. And it's got a thumb stud. It's really kind of a three finger knife. I mean, if you're back here, it's definitely three finger where your finger you got a finger guard. But if you choke up a little bit, it's still three finger, but this pinky kind of plops behind it. So. It's kind of a confident grip. This jimping's not super aggressive, but it's kind of a decent grip here. Um, and this one's in AR RPM steel. Mm -hmm. But kind of cool. And then, like I say, now they have, uh, I believe it's called More Malaya. So it's a bigger version of this that's supposed to fill the hand. But I like both of these knives. Pretty cool. So, I hadn't gotten one of these. And I believe when it came out, man, there was some hype about it. And, you know, saying it was a good knife. And I always kind of intended to get one because I like these two. So, I thought, I don't know. I had an opportunity to pick one of these up on the secondary market. And so, I thought, mm, I'm going to get it. So, there it is. In its entirety. Nice little blade. I don't mind that blade shape at all. It's in 154 cm steel, which I am a fan of. Sharpens well. So this is kind of, <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of that swayback. If you flip that thing over, I, you know, it's not straight here. It's got this full curve, but I, it's reminiscent, I guess. And somehow, even more so if you open the blade right? I mean, it kind of, you see what I'm saying? Like it kind of, there's some different uh, copycat curvature going on there, but I dig it. You know, uh, it's, that works, man. That's a comfortable knife. The button lock, it's drop shut. Boop, boop. It's got a thumb stud opening, spidey flick, good detent, and then it's a back flipper, which the detent on that back flipper I find to not be quite as good. It works, but it's not quite as good. Could have more detent. But the button lock itself to get that blade out, wonderful. Yeah. So, hey, let's get in it. It's a used knife. I want to see what's up. Make sure that it doesn't need maintenance or lubrication or cleaning or whatever. I don't mind. I noticed that the captured part is up on this and the button is down. So I may reverse this and put this on the show side. 
I may put that over on that other side when we put it back together. We'll see. Um, I think I'm going to pull the pocket clip next, and then I'll get those. Those, I think they're all T6s, actually. They are. But I'm going to get that pocket clip out of the way first. And eh, maybe not. I think I can get it without, yeah, I can get it without bumping it. There we go. Looking at it, it should come apart. Mm, not going to be that simple, is it? I do believe that that pivot screws in there backwards. That's, that's part of it. But, uh, let's just pull some screws, man. I'm pretty sure that when you're in this spot, if you just start taking screws out, eventually things come apart. Those two are the same. And it had a little bit of oil in there. Nothing too dramatic. The blade is still holding that button. But I get that blade in the right spot, and that button will release... Potentially go flying, and I don't want that. Well, more screws. Let's just keep going. So it's got recessed pocket clip screws, but the pocket clip itself is not recessed into the G10. For sure, all that's holding that now is that that pin is stuck in that scale. Hmm. It's just going to be one of those, isn't it? I've had a couple of those recently. It's just like how difficult can we make this process? Yeah, it's just... And it makes me wonder if there's not some Loctite on there or something that's causing that to... Hold on. But that pivot pin is most definitely, to me, backwards. Which, I don't know, makes me think the knife's been apart. I mean, it's coming. There it goes. Wow. Oof. That was a lot of work, man. Okay, one bearing, two bearing, there we go. So they did relieve the, uh, the black coating. They did relieve it from, this G10's nice, I like it. From where the bearings run. So that's a good feature. It's not awful dirty in here. I mean, I'm going to say it looks like it's been opened. Which is fine. I mean, I open all these knives. It doesn't hurt them. Yeah, so they did, they did uh, polish the uh, coating off of the scales where the bearings run. So that's a pretty nice feature. It's just a little thing, but it definitely is going to help these bearings run versus having to cut a path through that black coating. So, I mean, it just means somebody's paying attention. Which, I mean, I've had some Kaisers for a long time, but this last summer I've, I've kind of picked up a few, 
And I mean, I will tell you that I have been paying attention to the fact that, man, Kaiser's quality is, brother, it is up there. They are doing a bang up job of producing a good knife. I am going to put a little bit of tension on this screw. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to try to measure how long that screw is so I, I get a bearing on how much I want to put on it. I think I got a pretty good idea of what I'm looking at there. I mean, I'm not going to put too much, but I'm going to increase that detent just slightly. I mean, a little bit. That'll work. All right, let's get it back together. I think we're good to go. Now, I definitely am going to reverse that whole thing that was going on there. We'll put this captured pin in from this other side now. Uh, maybe this is why it wasn't that way. Because it's not wanting to cooperate in this particular scale. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, I think it'll go. Where's the captured part? Yeah, just like that. And just like that, it's resolved. Let me make sure where that captured part is. Yeah, it's facing that way. Okay. I'm going to take this pin and put it in place. I think I'm going to attach this barrel. So I don't have to fight with that scale. I believe it's this screw right here. Yep. Okay. Parts and pieces, man. There's one. Get our button in there. Actually, we're going to add the blade same time as the button. It's got a place for it, but I think it's going to run better if I... Just do it all at the same time. Yeah, for sure it is. Oop, get in the hole. There we go. Yeah, money. Bearing. Just parts and pieces, man. That's all it is. Okay. That's all anatomically correct. Let's put our spring in and then we'll drop the scale on top. Mm-hmm. Pretty simple. I mean, I don't know for sure that it's been apart, but I'm thinking that that's the case, and that's why some of this stuff was backwards. Went back together opposite, I think, of what seems normal to me. Now, I could be wrong, but, you know, 
wouldn't be the first time. It's just my two cents. It's about all it's worth, right? Two pennies. Okay. Yep. Knife feels pretty solid in my hand. I wonder how that runs. Drop shut. A mm, little bit of play. Let's cinch that up a little bit. Yeah, there was a little bit there. Not much. Ooh, now it's too much. The, the delicate balance between perfect and not perfect. I mean, it's pretty close, but I'm going to have to back that out just a hair. Let's try that. Yeah, definitely more detent. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch more. This would be the test right here. Mm-hmm, better. Do you hear that ting? Ooh, is that nice. Tell me where that came from. I wasn't there before. I mean, that's like ringing a church bell, man. That is awesome. Very nice. Let's check that play again. Yeah, we're good. I mean, I'm going to have to ring that bell some more. That's pretty cool. It's not often that you get that kind of thing going, but it's definitely there. It's got it's got a, a tuned ring to it. Like like not a not a ping or a, or a ting. It's more of a bing like a bell yeah it's very cool i don't know if it's coming through on the microphone or not but i'll run that again very cool unique acoustics man i mean i could check a hundred knives and not get that little that little bing sound that this has got all right pocket clips back on let's get these tools put away clear up some space here put this little towel back down okay Get rid of this. There we go. Wow, it's with the thumb too. <laughs> Man, very nice. Not so much that, that spidey flick. So definitely, let's make sure drop shut. Yeah, hundred percent. No blade play. This thing's awesome. Yeah, the action. I mean, it's it's a great button lock. It is. It's running very well. It's one fifty four in blade steel. Let's talk about that ergonomics again. So I I mean, it's just super comfortable in the hand. The pocket clip has disappeared up in this space here. I, I mean, almost don't notice it. If I, if you gave me this grip and I had to guess, is there a pocket clip on this knife or not? I don't know if I could, if I could get it right. You know, um, it's all four fingers. It's a solid grip. I, I can't call it confident just because, I mean, this is locked in back here, but even still, I don't think there's enough that if you met resistance, to keep your hands from coming up over the blade. So I'm going to say it's less than a confident grip, but it is a good grip. Yeah, I'm not complaining about it at all. It's a good grip. Uh, let's check the pocket clip, see if it runs. Big, thick material, if it'll get over it, of course, it's going to run, and it does. And But it hangs up because it's not recessed. So that thick material is catching the lip of that clip going in and it and it's resisting it does not want to go past and it's because the clip is not recessed down into that scale so these thick pants are catching the front of that right there let's try the thinner material i mean it's catching those too if i manipulate it i can get it over those but going in and out of your pocket i mean i'm guessing that it's a it's an iffy proposition whether you catch that or not. I mean, I think I'm figuring out 
There, I just caught it again, though. And once you catch it, you gotta you gotta figure out how to get past it. Um, there's not a lot of tension on it, like so. It definitely needs to be improved. The the uh, tension on it. My spot back here on the back, it actually goes like money. And I think part of it is because this seam right here, the way that they've done it, it's really stiff. Yeah, so it it it's not soft and fluffy like these two. So it's not catching that lip. But again, not a lot of tension on that clip. Um, I'm actually going to fix it right now just to see if I can make that hold on enough to make it good. Especially in standard pants right here. Okay, so all I've done is I've taken it off. And I've, I've clamped it with my little Knipix pliers here. And I'm going to squeeze and close this gap. So I don't know if you can see that, but by... By closing that gap a little bit, I'm increasing the tension on that, the spring of that. So that closed that gap about half of what that width was. And here's my little pliers. But by putting that rag on there, I didn't mark that up at all. All right, let's put it back on there. Now, when you do this, I've mentioned it before, but, you know, hey, the, the reason a lot of times you do these videos and you're a broken record, because I don't know who's watching it. Like, I don't know, did you watch the last three times that I fixed one of these clips? Maybe you've never seen it. And so I'm telling you to do this. And if you don't know to tighten that back screw first, you could have a real problem with this front screw. And end up stripping it out or, you know, having some issues. So whenever you tighten these back up, make sure you start with that back screw. Um, because it will aid in bringing that front down. Because when you increase that tension, it tends, this is going to hold it off of the surface. All right, let's see if it helped. I mean, it's probably going to cause it to hang up more. I mean, it's better. Yeah, it's definitely better because I was able, it was just coming out when I did this before. So it's definitely gripping better. And now it's hanging up back here a little bit. But yeah, that not, I mean, it's definitely gripping better. But that not recessed design and then it being so flush, the design of it, the space in that pocket clip, there's no way it's not going to catch on that front lip. So this would have been a great pocket clip if they'd have just recessed it into that scale a little bit. So, I mean, for that, for that reason, I'm probably going to say... Well, you know what? Let's check it blade contact in the back. We'll check for safety real quick. I cannot contact that blade. That tip is way up at the top there. Let's see if I can get it. No, I can't get it. So it's recessed enough. So the clip is a pass. The tip is a pass. The back is a pass. I'm going to say the clip at best, it's meh. I mean, if you play with it, it'll go, but just one-handed in and out, it's going to cause trouble no matter what you put in there because of that lip and that narrow space that's in there. Yeah, it's it's just, it's going to hang up when you put it in there. So at best, it's a meh to a nah. Yeah, it's not good. Bummer. All right, let's get rid of the rest of this stuff and we'll wrap up here. I wonder if it's sharp. Let's check it. Yeah. Yeah, super sharp. Okay. Well, it's a Kaiser... Uh, swag design chili pepper in 154 cm and available price and availability let's see where these are at so this little gem here um kaiser chili peppy chili pepper chili pepper why is that hard to say 154 cm uh, White Mountain Knives has them in stock as of the date of this video for around $75. I'm sorry, White Mountain Knives is around $60 with a discount code. 
Uh, I think they're on sale for clearance out for like 68 bucks. And then 10% off of that puts them at about $62. And I think you can get it next day delivered from Amazon for around $75. I, th I believe that's the pricing that I'm finding. So yeah, got three of these swag designs here. And, and honestly, I kind of like them all. So anyways, I appreciate y'all watching.